premier. Didn't the city quite, I'm not opposed, we did the exact same thing with premier. And let's face it, you can get it on your own, but I'm just guessing, but privately it's 50 bucks, whatever, okay? And here it's 14, because they're, they're obviously working on a volume thing. I don't know these people, if they walked in here right now, I have no clue who they are. I know I like the idea of the service. So well, I think it's they, smart so, for a property owner to have it. I, I'm, I would agree with that. Right. So, so they're not going to be exclusive, and Bev got one from another company. So, once, you know, I think it's. But we did with Premier, didn't we? We we pretty much endorsed Premier and said, "Come in, and we'll." That was a utility, so I think we. Well, that's um, what the heck is that called? <laughs> Franchise. Franchise fee. We have that. We have those in our ordinances. Okay. I mean, so we have, yeah, and they, and they came and they would put a huge investment in replacing all the lines. Absolutely. Did. Absolutely. But Rex is right. I think when we put a request for proposal, it needs to be, this is by no means a Do you want, okay, so how do you want to do it? Because it, 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 here it is already, the request for proposal. So do you want, do you all want to see it? before it gets sent out, or public utilities? Do you want to see it before it gets sent out, or do you want me to send it out? I think the person I want to see it is the city attorney. Well, he's going to go over it, too. It's based, it's, uh, it, it's based on what Sioux City sent out. Okay. Yeah, I have all the, I, I got all the stuff. Yeah, they gave us copies of what got all. Well, but see, that's not, that's not going to, that's not going to happen until we, until we accept a proposal, right, right, and then we're going to go into an agreement with that company and all of their mailers and other things, and so that's that's down the road a ways. Yeah, that's this fine. is just the initial step right. here. I, I think the vote was appropriate. Let's go move forward. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Vote. Sure. Let me make sure I'm right on this. The vote was <coughs> for the staff to proceed on a, on a three to two right. motion. On a three to two motion. Right. Proceed with getting a proposal from any company that wants to give us a proposal. Three, four, two, yes. Right. Yep, okay. Okay, I just want to be sure. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, moving on to uh, number three, <coughs> and that is the uh, uh, surface transportation block. Okay. Okay, the Service Transportation Block Grant Program, STBG application. <coughs> Information, the City of Lamars has consistently used STBG funding for eligible roadway improvements and examples of past projects as well as future projects follow. This one is 2010 to 2020, it was 12th Street, South and 7th Avenue, East, to 12th Street Avenue East, uh, 4th Avenue East, 2nd Street South, 10th Street South, Central Avenue, 3rd Street North, to 3rd Street South. In 2020 to 2025, <coughs> it's projected the Central Avenue, 5th Street South, to 12th Street South, fiscal year 21, 2021. 12th Street South, Central Avenue to 6th Avenue West is fiscal year 2022. 7th Avenue East, which is the same as K49, 18th Street South to 24th Street South, fiscal year 2024. 12th Street South to 2nd Avenue East to 7th Avenue East, again with K49. The recommendation is the application has been prepared for the 12th Street South, 2nd Avenue East to 7th Street Avenue East, which is a K-49 project. The city administrator intends to submit a application for fiscal year 2025 funding. The financial side of it, historically STBG is 80% federal and 20% local. However, can be as low as 50-50. The application is prepared as an 80-20 split. 
total estimate for the project is federal $432,600 and local $108,150 for a total uh, cost of the project of $540,750. The RUT or TIF uh, program is eligible for this, uh, for this project. Questions? They gave you a mouthful before we read there. It just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> I'm surprised I wasn't going very fast on it. Yeah, we typically do these every year. Um, this would be the next project in line. Then, if it's so from Rex Winkle Funeral Home East to K49, Old Gas House Corner, is that plan? And that's the total dollars you're talking about on that project, right? Yep. For, for this community. Yeah, so the actual application is included in here so you can see what's been prepared. Yeah. And that's, so for, I'll submit. that's for 2021? Well, this would be the for the 20 fiscal year 25 oh, okay. uh, project year. Okay. Questions? Anybody? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve application to service transportation broadband program for 12th Street South, 2nd Avenue East, 7th Avenue East, project for 25 construction. Second for the motion. Motion made and second to approve application to surface transportation block grant program STBG for the 12th Street South, 2nd Avenue East to 7th Avenue East for the project for the year, fiscal year two, 2025 construction. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Motion to approve resolution 21-7? Yeah. Special committee funds and provide the operation and maintenance of said roadway. Second to that motion. Motion made and second to approve the resolution number 21-7 officially committing funds and providing for the operation and maintenance of said roadway. Do we have a roll call on that, Bill? Yes. Yeah. Donlan? Yes. Good job? Yes. Yeah. Matt? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to discussion. Um, <clears throat> We reverse the order on you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, it's, or Jason, it's all yours. All right. If, what if I said I have nothing today? <laughs> well, <laughs> all I, I do, though. <laughs> I do, though. shock and sit here for a while. <laughs> sure wouldn't take long. Um, uh, I'll start with uh, CWC is done. Um, uh, what is left there is we'll be wrapping up the, uh, the pay application yet uh, so that will get finalized out. Um, I saw this morning, um, I don't have all the information yet, but I saw uh, it was in the Chamber's new newsletter that there is a ribbon cutting scheduled for February 17th. Um, I think that was initially set up by uh, Todd and, and the YMCA. Um, so I had a brief discussion with Neil Adler over at the chamber, and if we can coordinate it as one larger ribbon cutting and involve the Betterment Foundation and the city, uh, that will, I don't think we need multiple ribbon cuttings and acknowledgements, so uh, they'll get back to me with more information tomorrow. So, But February 17th is when that is scheduled for, and that would be the 9.30 to 10:30 event. Uh, so it is at it is open and all areas are being used. So, uh, second project, well, 14. You know, I mean, I don't have much for an update other than they continue to do the sanitary portion of it. Um, that'll be going for months yet. So. 
Uh, the third thing, if you remember a few months ago, probably uh, towards the end of fall, uh, council had approved, approved the application for uh, federal rec trail funds for the plywood trail, the first phase, A, 1A. Um, we got notification uh, January 13th that uh, was not accepted again. Um, so no federal funds this time. The only uh, upside to that is in their scoring, uh, the plywood trail keeps moving up. Uh, I think the first year we, it was, that group applied for it, it was, um, it maybe ended up at the bottom of the list um, of unaccepted ones. And now we are, the plywood trail is uh, third on the non-funded list. Um, From the top or the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, below the line of accepted, so where the plywood is the third in the line of <clears throat> not accepted. Right. So how many are accepted? You'd need four to drop out. How, how many are accepted? Uh, it's here, Clark. Um, Uh, one, two, I guess they apparently have different categories. Just the category <coughs> of the plywood trail would fall in. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five okay. were approved. If one of them would drop out, we'd move up. Yeah, we'd, you'd, need, uh, you'd need four to drop out mm. to get above the line. But so what's their total funding? Uh, of the approved project. Making the ad on the spot, just over a million, about a, a 1.1. And million. what's our request to? This is my last question. No, that's, <laughs> that's all right. I haven't hit every page of this thing yet. Uh, the request was three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. I'm sure that'll uh, be applied for again uh, next fall or this fall. Uh, another one is uh, during budget we talked about. Uh, com upcoming project was the top point of the Royal Three. Uh, so just to let you know, I did submit um, a grant application yesterday uh, at, for the State Historical Society of Iowa um, to try to get funding, partial funding for that. I don't know the exact date of when we'll hear back, but the deadline was yesterday, so that's been submitted. <laughs> Uh, then the last uh, thing is we can get into uh, the rag bride update. Um, uh, we talked about a last council meeting. Uh, since that last council meeting, I did speak to uh, five of the seven overnight towns. Um, Basically across the board, they're in the same place we are, really. Um, um, kind of at a, a wait and see um, position. Um, they really, no particular city really um, came out and said that they had a whole lot of comment or feedback from the community so far. Uh, but. You know, I'm sure as Rag Bride is now in the news again, um, that may change. Uh, so at the time that I called them, they, they said there really hasn't been an outpouring of yes or no um, from either, from anybody. Um, so that's what really came about from that, from those phone calls. Uh, there was a um, kind of a, the community phone call again uh, from Rag Bride out to um, the participating towns that did occur on the 27th. Um, much of the same information. Um, 
that they discussed in this last phone call was discussed in the January 15th phone call. Um, you know, registration is still open. It appears to be up by what they could tell. Um, they continue to work through planning from diff uh, many different scenarios uh, because they don't know exactly what it's going to be like. So they're trying to take a lot of things into account. Um, they are working with, uh, I believe he said they're working with their EMS provider and they will be working with uh, the Iowa Department of Public Health in the future also to get their input. Um, you know, some of the thoughts that they're still uh, being kicked around, um, uh, these are some of the things that they're trying to uh, work through, um, is, and these are all possibilities. Um, limiting the number of riders, um, extending the hours of ride time, which they think would hold space riders out. Um, having specified times for riders, so not everybody's leaving at once. Um, they're also doing, they're considering the COVID testing, um, either on site or at least requiring uh, that you have proof of vaccination before you get to Lamar's. Um, and then possibly COVID testing throughout the, the week long ride. Um, more portable toilets, uh, sanitation stations. Um, they're not in favor of the hosted housing in the community. Um, also talked about additional staff and medical support. Um, I think I mentioned this last time, uh, scaling back the entertainment that each community uh, puts on. And then uh, something I think that was new this last time is they talked about uh, a concern even when I was making my phone calls was uh, the availabil availability of volunteers. Um, RAGBRAI is uh, talking about assisting the communities in finding those volunteers. Um, you know, I, the way I understood it is, is they would they would assist us in reaching out to neighboring communities to try to pull in volunteers that way. If for some reason we have a hard time finding them, um, so that was that phone call. There were more questions asked in, in this uh, phone call than the previous phone call, um, and they varied from different uh, um, avenues. Of, but um, that's the update on the phone call. Um, I don't think they scheduled another one, but now that the announcement happened Saturday of the route in the towns, um, local meetings will start up again. That's usually the next step. Um, so there'll be a lot more more frequent communication between RAGBRAI and the communities. Um, so they still have that mid-March um, time frame set for a go no go as the right ride goes. Um, so that's the latest update. Okay. Any questions? I don't know if we're at a made and give an example. Uh, I think every uh, radio station and TV station and newspaper in Northwest Iowa, we got phone calls on it. We heard the Mars is backing out. And that ain't true. And so I just want to point that out. That, uh, uh, somewhere along the line, word got out that the Mars was going to backing out and not being the starter. So we had to clean that up a little bit and we tried the best we could. So, uh, 
there will be, I will, I, I will say this, um, and maybe I mentioned it in our last conversation, there will be a, uh, what the heck is it called, um, an overnight town agreement. Um, last I seen, I think I believe it was an email this morning, uh, cities should start to see that Wednesday. So this coming Wednesday, that should be forwarded to those cities. I have no idea what that says. I have no idea what um, kind of commitment that puts us in. Um, so once we get that, we'll have to review it. I'll review it. I'll send it to Mike also um, for him to review. Um, so whether or not that becomes a determining factor, I, I don't know because I, I have I'd be no very idea what to see what that says. Yeah. They've never done that in the past, I see. No, they never have. Well, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shifted. And I'm with you. Um, I think you made some very good observations two weeks ago, which was this isn't a city decision. They don't come to us and say, "Can we use your city?" and we approve it. It's never been on an agenda before. That's a that's a very common sense thing. It goes back to the executive committee, the RAGBRAI committee. They need to call that shot. Now, that's why I'm a little bit perplexed that they'd send out a city agreement. The city's not involved. You made that pretty clear. So let's see what they say. So let's see what it says. Because I, I'm not sure we need to discuss it. Well, I think when uh, whoever started getting phone calls from that executive, the RAGBRAI executive committee, local one, uh, I got a few. I think it was. It was. I think they were just asking, "What is, what is the opinion, right?" I mean, uh, they're seeking out. Right. Uh, Testing the water. Yeah. Guidance. I think they were looking for guidance. Of, did you get a call from Ray by himself? The Ray Ray no, 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 our local, local, our local no. committee that's been set. Some up of the people on our local. <coughs> yeah. right. I don't know where that rumor started. I never heard it. So I mean, they, 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 well, that was. I will tell you because they. One of my phone calls to another city administrator. Um, that's how that conversation, the conversation started that way by that individual asking me, I've heard a rumor that Lamar's is dropping out. <laughs> so. Um, I just got that handled this week with the. Uh, <laughs>